So this is just a quick test to make sure that the IMVU toolkit works correctly in Blender 4.0. So, so view sidebar. So edit preferences, add-ons. So install through the installation process install browse to the file in download there is the folder double click install the py script so it's going to install this on its own because this will generate the file path that we need so select install add-on right so it's done its thing So it's installed it to I have to make a note of the file path. So catch bits, library, application support, blender for scripts, add-ons, Python. So of course catch bits is your user. Catch bits in this case, but it'll be your user for you. So let's just enable this. Let's see if it'll enable, it'll enable. Close. Let's check the toolbar. It should error out. So if we just drop in the or the attachment file, it won't do anything because it hasn't imported or hasn't brought in the mega file or the mega scene. See, it's missing the at the bottom here mega scene. So we need to open Finder to browse to the file in downloads so control click so this is the folder this is the zip file essentially so it's going to be a folder so we need to copy this so control click copy so now we need to be in catch bits library if we can't see this folder we need to control click, show view options, make sure show library is active, so checkbox, so that is, so we can close that and then go through library, application support, blender, 4.0 scripts add-ons so it's installed the py script so all we need to do now is control click paste item so that's pasted the entire contents of the zip file as a folder so we should now find let's minimize that let's just restart blender don't save Start Blender again. So now we should have view sidebar. There is iView toolkit. Let's just click on the clothing tool. And there is the avatar. So of course we have access to the different avatars. Let's do an animation. That's the quickest form or the quickest way we can test this. So new, general, don't save. Right, so view, sidebar, I view toolkit, animation tool, append animation file. So there's the animation file. So we want to enable auto key so that it automatically inserts our poses. So if we select the armature and it's orange or this yellowy orangey color, we're in object mode. So we need to change that to pose mode. So I'll click on the list. There's pose mode. Click 
click on that and then all these little widgets will appear and they'll change color and then all we need to do to manipulate them is just press the G key and we should be able to just move them so G key let's just make a pose and of course because we've got auto key enabled it's automatically inserted our keyframes so so G moves, R rotates. So select G, R, Check the elbows. And each time we select and manipulate one of these is dropping in a corresponding keyframe. Oh, the shame. So that'll be our pose. Just make sure that the fingers aren't sticking into the head. So that's our pose. We're going to make this a static pose. So we want to enable make pose and export all bones because we want this pose to be the pose that is struck by the avatar so it overrides all the pose data that we've got in this pose in this animation overrides the defaults so we need to make sure that make pose is selected and export all bones is selected so click save the file file save as so this is blender 4 o pose test enter save as so now we can export this so all we need to do is scroll down to the export tool and then click that to export and it does all the necessarily bits and pieces that are needed to export our pose so all we need to do now is open this in studio so in studio we need to create a new project And then just to test this, we want to derive from the empty mood. So that's 10,945,930. PID, search, empty mood. This is used to test the functionality of the pose to so make sure that the pose works. What we do after this, we can derive from the avatars or anything so this is just to test to make sure that the pose functions the way that it's supposed to right so there's our base avatar and then all we need to do import the FBX so import FBX browse to our documents folder where we've saved the file I'm looking for an FBX. There it is. 
select, open. We'll go through the import process. Two discussions, one mesh, four materials, three animations. So set up FBX. Skeleton. That's always going to be the same. We don't need to worry about mesh data or anything like that. So we can uncheck that. Uncheck that. We don't need to change any scaling. So that's OK. We'll leave that as is. So next. Don't need any of that. Next. So this is what we want. We don't necessarily need morph controller, but we'll just bring it in just to make sure. Review. So that's what it's going to bring in. And then import. So it's brought in the animation data now. So there's our data. We now need to go into component and set up an action sequence. So action, new action. Let's just call this stance dot idle. So this will play all the time, regardless as to whether the avatar is standing or sitting. Action type, avatar, create an ensemble. Select the asset, so this should list our FBX or our sequence. There it is. Select loops zero for infinite. And we want to set our keyframes from frame one to frame two. Everything else looks OK. Apply. And then we should be able to just click on preview and see our pose. There it is. And that is just a quick overview, quick tutorial on using the toolkit with Blender 4.0. So this is the latest version of Blender and it'll work. It should work four point and above. But that's exporting an animation and using the toolkit from Blender 4.0 for IMVU, because obviously all we need to do now is save the project, fill in our details, and then submit to the catalogue.